You know, I, just looking at this long shot right here, Brisa Hennessy in the water, Sally Fitzgibbons, the match is on. Both of those surfers out there on Dennis Pang surfboards. If you ever come to Hawaii, actually go to the sugar mill and uh, go check out all of the board manufacturers that are down there. There we go, up and riding into that lip. Floats it over the, that's uh, Sally Fitzgibbons trying to get the board moving. And it looks like they were super deep on the point right there. I mean, you could literally see the coral heads coming out of the water. So you want to make sure that although it looks like you can sit deep, you have to be on the right spot of the wave to make it happen, just like Sally's eyeing up this wave here. Yep, Sally picking up an inside little nugget right there. She does a couple of setup snaps and looking for that wave to stand up in front of her. That one laying down a little bit, but you know what? She looked a lot more comfortable on that wave than she did on her first wave, so I feel like she was just trying to adjust to equipment, maybe. You can see it right here. Um, she sets herself up, does a nice little off the lip there, uh, and then is really just trying to look for that section, that critical section here, um, and to finish this wave off. And she actually finds herself a nice little turn here on the inside as well. That inside angle, and then this one, for Sally, Pete. Uh, and this is the outside section. I think this is where the first exchange, or maybe a little. No, this is actually the second wave. You're right. So this is actually a, a three, what, eight, three for for Sally. Um, the outside section, a little steeper. Um, wow, I'm trying to think of the comparison. Pretty similar. Look at that arc, dude. Looks like Brisa's looking at something in here. She's just finding a nice little wave, actually. That thing's got a, a nice line on it. Two huge gouges in the face right back to the corner and she's going to kick out nice two-turn combo right there i feel like you know she, she comes down to the beach uh, with her her boards every day here we go brisa looking for the inside almost went for a tube she's pushing around that corner looking for something so she can get a maneuver off and there she goes she has a nice little Spin toss into the lip, and she's out. Risa is actually holding on to the lead right now. Uh, right now, it's going to come down to wave selection. You see, I believe Sally. Sally, she glides in. Nice turn on the open face, and that's all it's going to be one time. So you can have that confidence in your arsenal that, like, I just need to pull out a big turn. Here we see Sally. Uh, these are tough waves, right? Um, you start off with a couple of cutbacks here, Strider. Uh, the cutbacks, but I like the second one was really clean. Actually, fit the board into the transition really well. So, I she I think she could come close to getting the score that she needs to actually jump up into the lead. Brisa Hennessy, it's her turn. There goes that driving cutback you were talking about. Another one looking for a closeout section. Little tap off the white water, and this wave looks like it's standing back up for her. So beautiful wave choice right there. Well, and I thought, you know, this is funny because this one came in as a 3 3, and Sally's came in as a 3 5. Uh, you know, more maneuvers done here by, by Brisa, but not as strong, not as laid over and um, as quick in transition and held. That was the one thing I think that was brought to our attention, and it really is unique to Sunset Beach. Sally rolls in. I feel like she's really comfortable out here on these type of waves. I feel like she's got a... She's on a Glen Pang. A nice flow, too. I, I, maybe I'm just so used to seeing her surf on open face rights. What's cool about Sally and, and Glen the Pang and the TNC is that Sally rides these boards all over the world. Uh, they want to see you hold your rails, right? And the, and the judges will... And the, and the surfers went to that criteria yesterday, and I think it'll happen here today. But holding those rails, you're going to get rewarded for that. So utilize them. That's what they're there for. Lay them over. Yeah, I think so. the point of differentiation with their cutbacks right now. Isabella Nichols is going to get the highest score of the heat so far for that one big turn. Here we go. Brisa looking for more. Nice oh. critical section. That's what she was looking for. There we go. There's the nice deep gouge in the pocket. So... Brisa Hennessy, she's fighting back. She, you know, she's last year's champion out here. She does not want to lay down in this. You can see it here. She takes off, but she's setting herself up here with so much speed and just a huge snap in the pocket there. I will say that that like moment, right, and it being so far away, and the judges see that moment, it, it definitely it leaves an impression. Sally wants to fight. 
She's not done yet. Pushing out on that open face, waiting for the wave to stand back up. Putting a few maneuvers in, and then the wave still going, but letting her down a bit. Tally needs a four, what, four, three, five? Four, three, five, she's jamming down the line, guys. You know, and it laid down big time right there, and you're like, oh no, but then it started to load back up. And then she gets this nice little floater. Good flow on this wave, but is it the 435? Yeah, well, dang it. Scores are, are trickling in. Sally Fitzgibbons is going to bow out here at Sunset Beach. Unfortunate for her. Well, I had Sally kind of a little under dark heart. I was trying to figure Risa or Sally, and I was like, oh, Sally needs to have a result. She does well. At, well, that wasn't a good call, unfortunately, there. But Risa, congratulations.